major issue that has been raised, the fact that the president didn't even make time to mention the plans of permanently resettling um, uh, the people were displaced by, remember, this was as a result of spillage from the Akosombo Dam. So it's a state, it, it was the state that actually caused this. But nothing was heard about it. And people have been asking questions. Robert Blackwell, good morning, and I hope you're well. Good morning. I am good. How about you? I am also doing well. Um, and, I'm, and I'm sure you've seen the concerns that have been raised that people actually wanted the president to give an, an indication of what the plan is. Uh, you have a member of parliament sitting there and uh, your people are in this situation, you hear nothing from the president. What, what was going through your mind? To be honest with you, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I was asking colleagues, that, has the president finished the speech? I mean, has he ended? So if you notice, I, I put out a tweet uh, uh, and, uh, and also a Facebook message right right after, within, within a few seconds after the address. I couldn't believe that the president has finished a message on the state of the nation. Article 67 of the Constitution is very clear. You must speak to the current issues, the state of the nation. I mean, how can any president address the country on the state of the nation and omit the biggest disaster of this era? According to Nadmo, over 40,000 people displaced. Gold. As the president was speaking, thousands of our compatriots were living in tents. Those who may have managed to get some small radios were listening to him in tents, refugee-like tents. And they have been living in those tents for five months. And the rains are coming. The rains are coming. These tents cannot save them. We have done our best to build a few houses to house 600 people. But the numbers are huge. There are thousands who are still living in tents. Come to Mepa Degome. Come to Bato DA School. Come to the Dofwadidome Basic School. Go to Fojoku. Go to Alabono. People are living in tents. And the president did not say a word. Look, this disaster cuts across multiple regions. Yes, we are the epicenter, but we are not the only ones affected. Multiple regions, multiple constituents, at the last count, about 13 constituencies are affected. From Volta, Greater Accra, Eastin, all the way to the Bono Savannah regions are all affected. And the president, I mean, it is the height of callousness, of insensitivity, of cruelty. It's such a dereliction of the president's mandate, a violation of his oath of office. I mean, how on earth can you present any message on the state of the nation? And look, this is a president who, even when it is announced that the king of England is going for a cancer checkup, he issues a statement to wish him well, that he's praying for him. Now your own citizens, they've lost their livelihoods, lost their homes, their farms, their shops, everything that they work for, that they own, lost everything. And the president who can send out a get well soon message, he's amongst the first group of world leaders to comment on these matters. If the last time when a church in France was was, was on fire. He was among the first to issue a solidarity message. So how on earth, how did this happen? Look, we have seen the neglect. We have seen the disregard for the people. But I never thought that the president will be so insensitive, will be so reckless, and that you, you even just, just a word of sympathy just even assure the people that yes i know so far i haven't started building i haven't compensated you but at least you are in my thoughts we will have taken it like that even if it is insincere but to totally ignore the people i mean what have the people of the volta region and all of these regions done to the president i mean yes we know when the president visited us he told us in the face that we don't vote for him but that statement was condemned and we thought that the president would turn on a new leaf. What have we done to this president? Are the people of the Volta region who are most affected, are they not Ghanaians? 
Are they no human beings? Are they no citizens? Don't we pay taxes? I mean, the fool that brought the president is official cars and all you saw all that pomp and pageantry all the people who will be paid the drummers the dancers the security and all of that it's taxpayers money without taxpayers there will have been no message on the state of the nation so treat the people with some respect look i am totally disgusted i am appalled i am outraged the president's insensitivity his recklessness cannot be countenance. And in the coming days, you are going to hear from us, beginning from tomorrow on the floor of the House, as we debate this address. We are not going to take it lightly on this president. This is totally unacceptable. Hmm. Honorable, thank you very much. And uh, we'll have a, a much more extensive conversation after you've actually made a statement on the floor of Parliament. Thank you. You're most welcome. Thank you. Honorable Samuel Kujatabla, join us briefly on uh, that issue to respond to the absolute... In fact, I, I was scandalized when uh, nothing was said. In fact, I went through the whole statement again because I was the, on the move at some point. I went through the whole statement to see, uh, or did I miss it? Nothing. Not a word of it. Anyway, uh, uh, lawyer, you no. first. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry, 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 I'm